statement I want to make. And to say uh, what we have uh, for the progress of the smart, um, smart web. So I also put a, uh, uh, write a, um, a Twitter, a uh, very simple one. Uh, blockchain, check. Uh, Cyber Republic, check, right? Uh, smart web, check. Uh, I'm not saying we're done, but then comparing to three years ago, uh, definitely it's much more um, obvious what we are talking about the hash rate, uh, the side chains, right? The token, uh, the DID side chains and, and so on. And then the other one, actually that was the biggest risk or gamble for this whole um, journey or the new journey of the uh, Elasus Smart Web. Uh, looking back on a handset, on handset from the August 2018 to February 1st of uh, August 2017 to uh, February 1st of 2018. That was the biggest risk we took. And uh, we actually changed three tag leads for the blockchain. And we also uh, fortunately got some outsource, uh, outside help, like from on-chain, right? Carried us to launch the main chain. At that point was, and also in the middle, there was a, a, a Chinese government crackdown on September 4th. So all the things are together because I didn't know blockchain that well. Everything was based on a hunch. If Satoshi just wrote uh, 50,000 of lines, we can do it in four months. That was the hunch. But then in reality, that was a gamble, okay? We uh, kind of win that bet. That was the biggest risk. The second biggest risk is from the uh, February 1st to August, uh, uh, February 1st of 2018 to August of uh, 2020, what we are at today. Fortunately, we had uh, Yi Peng and Jing Yu came back to this project, right? They were both my uh, CTOs, uh, chief architects uh, uh, once upon a time. And uh, Yi Peng led the, uh, the blockchain team and also he was the mastermind behind the uh, CRC white paper and uh, behind uh, implementation of the Elastos main chain. So without him, right, we, we wouldn't have the uh, CRC uh, as we see today. The other one, of course, is Jing Yu as a uh, smart web check, right? The smart web consists not just the, uh, the blockchains, it has like a, a hive Hive is the overarching IPFS and also has something to do with Google Drive, OneDrive, all those personal cloud drives and the home NAS. Then there's a peer-to-peer -peer carrier I I'll mention later on. And uh, of course, on top of it, they were going to deploy uh, dApps. And uh, Jin, you also mentioned we're going to have uh, uh, the, the next phase, the phase, phase three of this uh, journey, right, for this four years or maybe a little bit beyond four years would be uh, uh, dApps and business models, which uh, in my Twitter, I was just saying it's uh, ongoing for the next year.